Whether you're like me and Rob and you fill absolutely every indoor space with cuttings or wintering over your tropical plants, or maybe you've been inspired to add a little living color to your home over the winter, now is the time we have to keep an eye out for bad bugs and insects. Because we don't have any beneficial insects indoors, things like ladybugs, praying mantis, or spiders, you have to keep an eye out for an infestation to prevent the bad bugs from taking over. Just follow a few simple steps to make sure that doesn't happen to you this winter. Make sure to buy your plants from a reputable source. Inspect your plants before buying and regularly check for infestations. Some of the most common insects found on your houseplants can be mealybugs. These gross me out the most. Mealybugs are a small, soft, white-bodied bug that looks a little bit like mold or fungus. Unfortunately, all of my coleus cuttings became infested with these icky creatures, but I prevailed with neem oil and a Q-tip, swabbing each individual bug. Spider mites would be impossible to locate if not for the fine webbing they spin. The easiest way to get rid of them is to regularly spray them off with cold water and then gently wipe them off with a soft cloth. If your infestation is bad, then use a neem oil spray. Aphids are common both indoors and outdoors. As with spider mites, just knock the aphids off with a cool spray of water. Insecticidal soap and neem oil will also work well. One of the most effective ways to treat spider mites and aphids is Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. You just have to mix a tablespoon in a spray bottle of water and spray away. Fungus gnats are the most annoying flying bugs and they are simply caused by overwatering. The easiest way to care for fungus gnats is to stop overwatering. While yellow sticky traps help and will capture the adults, you can also use mosquito bits on the soil, but both of those are short-term corrections. If you don't know how much to water, invest in a soil moisture reader. It's inexpensive, foolproof, and it will help you determine when you're watering enough, but not too much. Being able to do a little indoor gardening over the winter really saves my sanity. But if you're finding all of this a little bit overwhelming, or you're just not ready for this kind of commitment, at least invite a little cactus into your life.